Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to revise past exam questions on variation. We are going to start with this question number 17 of June 2020, Maths Paper 1. It is reading, it is given that G varies as M over R. G is equals to 1, M is equals to 2, and R is equals to 3. Find the formula connecting G, M, and R. So the first step is that we need to remove the alpha sign. So in order to remove the alpha sign, we are going to introduce an equal and a constant. So it is going to be G is equals to KM over R. And then after this, we need to substitute this information that we are given which is saying g is equals to 1, m is equals to 2, and r is equals to 3, in order to find the value of k. So first, let us make k the subject of formula. Here we multiply by r, and also here we are going to multiply by r. This r, cancel this r, so that we are going to have r g is equals to km. And then to make k the subject of formula, we are going to divide both sides by M so that our M, our K is equals to RG over M. And then we need to substitute our R is 3, our G is 1, and then our M is 2. So it implies that our K is equals to 3 over 2. Let us now write this equation. We now have G is equals to 3 over 2 times m over r. So it implies that we are having um, 1.5 m over r. That is going to be our g. So this is the formula that is connecting g, m, and r. By doing this, you obtain the first two marks on number 17A. And then on number 17B, we want to find the numerical value of G when M is equal to 10 and R is equal to 3. We are having this equation, which is saying G is equal to 1.5 M over R. So we want to find the value of G. We are going to say 1.5 times m, which is times 10, over r, which is 3. If we say 1.5 times 10, we are going to obtain 15. 15 divided by 3, we are going to obtain 5. So it implies that the value of g is equal to 5. That was all about variation in June 2020, Maths Paper 1. Let us move on to the next question. Uh, on the next question, so the question was a bit faint. It is reading, the volume V of a gas varies directly as the temperature T and inversely as the pressure P. So before we attempt the question, we need to interpret this mathematically. It is very important for you to be able to distinguish which type of variation is this. Mainly we have four types of variation. We have direct variation, joint variation, inverse variation, and partial variation. So this is an example of a joint variation. So we are going to say the volume V, we write our V, varies directly, we write this alpha sign, is the temperature T and inversely so it means that it is a joint we are going to multiply by 1 over P if you are saying inversely we write 1 over P so it means that V varies is T over P um, after that we need to remove this very sign we are going to remove it by introducing an equal and a constant. So we write V is equals to KT over P. 
we want to find the value of the constant so we need to make k the subject of formula here we multiply by p and also we multiply by p here this p cancel this p we now have vp is equals to kt so to make k the subject of formula we are going to divide both sides by t so it implies that k is equals to vp over t and then we need to substitute correctly um we are we um the first question is requiring us to find a formula for v in terms of t p and a constant k so we are going to write v is equals to k kt over p by doing this you obtain the first mark on part a and then part b is requiring us to find the value of k we have made k the subject of formula so we are going to write k is equals to vp over t the value of v we are given it is 10 and the value of p we are given it is 8 over t which is 60 and then this zero cancel this zero we now have 8 over 6 and then we need to reduce it 2 into 8 is 4 2 into 6 is 3 so it implies that the value of k is equal to 4 over 3 by doing this you obtain the second mark on june 1996 question number 27 and then finally on june 1996 we want to calculate the value of v when t is equals to 150 and p is equals to 40 so we are having this as our equation which is v is equals to kt over p so we need to substitute correctly our k is 4 over 3 and then our t we are given it is 150 and then our um, p we are given it is 40 so we say 3 into 3 1 3 into 15 we get 5 3 into 0 we are going to obtain zero and then four into four one four into four we get ten ten into ten one ten into fifty we are going to obtain five so it implies that the value of v is equals to five that was all about variation in june 1996 maths paper one let us move on to the next question the next question which we are going to revise was on number six in june 2004 maths paper two it is reading the mass m of certain cone varies gently as the square of its base radius r and its height h so it implies that this is a joint variation so want to interpret this mathematically we are going to say m the mass m of a certain cone varies jointly as the square of its base radius so we write r squared and its height h this is going to be our joint variation the next step is we need to introduce an equal and a constant in order to remove the various sign so we write m is equals to k r squared h by doing this you obtain the first mark on june 2004 because the question is right is reading write down an equation connecting m r h and a constant k so this is the equation and then on part two you're supposed to calculate the value of k given that m is equals to four and a half when r is equals to two and h is equals to 3. So here, uh, we need to make k the subject of formula and then find the value of k. Uh, we are having m is equals to k r squared h. We are going to divide both sides by r squared h in order to make k the subject of formula. This r squared h is going to cancel. 
this r squared h so that our k is equals to m over r squared times height so our m we are given it is four and half which is 4.5 and then our um, r squared it is going to be two squared which is equals to four times h which is equals to three so here we are having 9 over 2 divided by uh, 12. It is going to be 9 over 2 times 1 over 12. 3 into 3, 3 into 9, 3, 3 into 12, 4. 3 times 1 is equals to 3, and then 2 times 4 is equals to 8. It implies that the value of k is equals to 3 over 8. Next question, it is reading, calculate the value of R when M is equals to 9 and H is equals to 6. We are having M is equals to K, R squared H. We want to find R. So first we need to make R the subject of formula. We are going to first divide both sides by KH so that we are going to remain with M over KH is equals to r squared and then to make r the subject of formula we are going to multiply both sides by to the power of half and you should know that to the power of half is the same as writing square root of m over kh is equals to r after this we need to substitute correctly we are given that uh, the value of m is equals to 9 so let us substitute correctly. Our M is 9. And then K, we obtained 3 over 8. And then our R is in, our H is 6. So here, uh, we are going to say 2 into 6, we get 3. 2 into 8, we get 4. And then we now have uh, the square root of 9 divided by, if we say 3 times 3, we get 9 uh, divided by 4. And then after that, we say the square root of 9 times 4 over 9. This 9 is going to cancel this 9 so that we are going to remain with square root of 4 and the square root of 4 is 2 we are going to write r is plus or minus 2 that is going to be our final answer on number um, on part 3 of June 2004 maths paper 2 this was the complete solution of number 6 of June 2004 maths paper 2 let us move on to the next question on variation. The next question was on June 2005, paper two. It was on number one, part C. It is reading, Y is inversely proportional to X plus three squared. Given that Y is equals to five, X is equals to zero. Find Y when X is equals to two. So here what you need to do is we need to see what type of variation is this one. It is an inverse variation. So we are going to say y varies is 1 over x plus 3 squared. Always remember that we say 1 over given variation if it is inverse variation. So in order to remove the alpha sign, we are going to introduce an equal and a constant so that we are going to have y is equals to x plus 3 squared. y is equals to k over x plus 3 squared. And then we need to make k the subject of formula. We are going to multiply both sides by x plus 3 squared. Here we are having y times x plus 3 squared is equals to k. And then we need to substitute correctly um given that y is equals to 5 
so we write our 5 here and then our x is equals to 0 so we write 0 plus 3 squared is equals to k 0 plus 3 we get 3 3 squared we get 9 9 times 5 is equals to 45 so it implies that the value of k is equals to 45 so let us rewrite the expression this expression substituting 45 on k we now have y is equals to 45 over x plus 3 squared and then after that the question is requiring us to find y find y when x is equals to 2 so we say y is equals to 45 over x plus 3 and our x is 2 so we write 2 plus 3 squared we are having 45 over 2 plus 3 is 5 and then 5 squared is 25 we need to reduce this 5 into 45 we get 9 5 into 25 we get 5 so either we are going to write 9 over 5 or we write it as a mixed fraction which is 1 and 4 fifth by doing this you obtain all the three marks on june 2005 number 1c let us move on to the next question the next question was in june 2005 meets paper one it is reading a printing kanban charge a fee for each christmas card it produces the charge c dollars is partly constant and partly varies as in the number of cards printed so on number 19a first we need to write an equation connecting c n and constants h and k so this type of variation is partial variation so we are going to write a uh, scene we are given that the printing kanban charges for each christmas card um, is given is the charge is c dollars so we write c is equals to it is partly constant so we write h and also it partly varies as n we are going to write k n so this is the equation uh, that connect c n and constants h and k and then on part b we are given that it cost 80 dollars to print 19 cards and 56 dollars to print 11 cards we are supposed to calculate the values of h and k using that information so here uh, it cost 80 dollars so we write 80 is equals to h plus k um, n is represented by 19 so it is 19 k and then the second equation uh, 56 dollars is the cost to print 11 cards so we say 56 dollars is cost to h plus 11 times k we now have a simultaneous equation that we are going to solve so um, we are going to solve this simultaneous equation by using elimination method so here we want to eliminate h we are going to use a negative we say 80 minus 56 we get 24 and then h minus h is equals to 0 19 minus 11 is equals to 8 so we divide both sides by 8 so that our k is equals to 3 and then after that uh, we are going to use the value of k to find the value of h we can substitute in any of the equation either this first equation or the second equation so if we substitute in the second equation we are having 56 is equals to h plus 11 k 56 is equals to h plus 11 times 3 uh, this is 33 we shift 33 to this side so that we have 56 minus 33 is equals to h if you say 56 minus 33 
we are going to obtain 23. So it implies that the value of h is equals to 23. So the value of k is 3. The value of h is 23. Let us move on to part c. We are supposed to find the value of n when c is equals to 119. Uh, isn't it our equation is c is equals to h plus kn. So we want to find the value of n when c is equals to 119. We write our 119 here. And then h we obtained 23 plus k which is 3n. We want to make n the subject of formula. We shift this 23 to this side. It is going to be 119 minus 23 is equals to 3n. 119 minus 23 we get 96 is equals to 3n. And then after that we divide both sides by 3. 3 into 3 1. 1 times n we get n. 3 into 96 we are going to get 32. So it implies that the value of n is equals to 32. This was the complete solution for number 19 that was in June 2005, Meets Paper 1. Let us move on to the next question. The next question which we are going to revise is number 8 of June 2007, Meets Paper 1. It is reading, M varies directly as the square of D and inversely as Q. So this type of variation is joint variation. Let us interpret this mathematically. We are saying M varies directly as square of T and inversely as Q. So it is like this. So we write M varies as D squared over P. The next step is we need to remove this alpha sign. To remove it, we introduce an equal and a constant. So we write m is equals to k d squared over p. We are supposed to write down an expression for m in terms of d, q, and a constant k. So this is how we find our first mark on number 8a of June 2007. And the next part, we want to find k, given that m is equals to 6 and d is equals to 4 and q is equals to 8. So here we are having m is equals to k d squared over p. We want to make k the subject of formula. We are going to multiply both sides by p first so that we have pm is equals to k d squared. And then to make this k the subject of formula, we divide both sides by d squared. So it implies that k is equals to pm divided by d squared. After this, we need to substitute correctly. So let me correct. This is not p, it is q instead of p. I was putting uh, p instead of q. So here we are having q instead of p. So we say q times m. Our q is 8 and our m is 6 divided by d squared, which is 4 squared, we get 16. 8 times 6 is equals to 48. 48 divided by 16 is equals to 3. So it implies that our k is equals to 3. That was all about variation in June 2007, math paper 1. Let us move on to June 2008, Maths Paper 1. The question was on number 22. It is given that y varies inversely as x plus 4. So this is an inverse variation. Let us interpret this mathematically. On number 22, y varies inversely is x plus 4 this is going to uh, this is going to be our interpretation and then uh, the question is saying express y in terms of x in the constant k we need to remove alpha sign by introducing an equal in the constant so it is going to be y is equals to k over x plus 4 that is going to be our 22a 
And then on part B, given also that x is equals to 6 when y is equals to 2, find the value of k. We need to make k the subject of formula. We are going to multiply both sides by x plus 4 so that our k is going to be y times x plus 4. And then we substitute correctly. k is equals to y is 2 and x is 6. So we write 2 times 6 plus 4, which is 2 times 10. We are going to obtain our k is 20. By doing this, you obtain another mark on June 2008, Maths Paper 1. And then on part C, we want to find the value of x when y is equal to 8. Uh, we are having our equation is y is equal to our k is 20 over x plus 4. And then this question is requiring us to find the value of x. We need to make x the subject of formula. So here we say y times x plus 4 is equal to 20. And then we divide both sides by y. So that we now have x. Sorry. We now have x plus 4 is equal to um, 20 over y and then after that want to make x the subject of formula we are going to shift this plus 4 to the other side it is going to be minus 4 and then we are given that our y is equal to 8 so we are having 20 over 8 minus 4 over 1 uh, we can reduce this one so that it is going to be 4 into 20, we get 5, and then 4 into 8, we get 2. We want to find the value of 5 over 2 minus 4 over 1. The lowest common multiple is 2. 2 into 2, we get 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 into 2, we get 2. 2 times 4, we get minus 8. And then 5 minus 8, we are going to obtain minus 3. So it implies that our x is equals to minus 3 over 2. That was all about variation in June 2008, Maths Paper 1. Finally, the variation that we are going to work today it was examined in June 2013, Maths Paper 1. It was on number 9. It is reading, it varies directly is a square of v we want to express e in terms of v and constant m we are saying e varies directly is square of v we want to express e in terms of v and constant m so in order to remove this alpha sign we introduce an equal and a constant so that we now have E is equals to m v squared. By doing this, you obtain the first mark on number 9a. Let us move on to 9b. On 9b, we are given that E is equals to 3 when v is equals to 2. We want to find m. So here we have E is equals to m v squared. We want to find m. We are going to divide both sides by v squared so that we remain with m as the subject of formula and e is 3 y least v squared is 4 so it implies that the value of m is equal to 3 quarters by doing this you obtain all the marks on number 9 of june 2018. this marks the end of our tutorial today on past exam revision on the topic of variation Thank you so much guys for following me on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. I love you all. This is Eve signing out.